I've always been on the defensive for more than 15 years, and today I decided to talk about dogs. The reason I haven't spoken until today. It's just that many people, who are starting out, in the world of dog fighting, acts as a dog fight, it would be lawful. They are not careful, and act by lying, and involve you in trouble. It didn't matter. If the fight was short or a long fight, everyone wanted to know how it had been. The new laws have been approved. There was a lot of news on television and in the newspapers. I still miss the fight conventions and the shows. I will never forget the people I met in this world. To name a few, Ozzy Stevens, Buns, Ziggy, Fowlers, W.M., Gable, L. Combs and Big Brad. I've seen many dogs, the most famous in the fight, and I consider Bullison the best fighting dog I've ever seen. I was there when Bert Klaus marked the fight, of the dog S.I.R., against the dog Bullison. He said that S.I.R. was a defensive dog, and that he would tire Bully Son, who was very fast and a tough dog. The day these dogs met in the ring. It wasn't like Bert Klaus, he had planned. Bullison was with S.I.R., rolled up as if it were a ball, and he was killing him, that in a short time. Bullison made a courtesy scratch, at the mark of 22 minutes of fight, and beat S.I.R. with ease, was the best fight, I had ever seen. I also watched, the old dog ELI fight, against dogs from Mississippi. But being true, I was not impressed with him, the ELI cannot be compared to Bully Son. Bully Son, fought brutally, with all attitude and did not save energy, for later, in case he needed it. Art was the opposite of him, he tied the fight. He was more strategic, he waited for the dog to calm down, and when he saw an opportunity, he attacked, at the speed of lightning, on the shoulder and on the knees, of the opponent, causing serious damage. He produced a lot of good dogs for me. The champion Mike, was one of them, he won the Dreaming Champion, the Lucas Champion, the Strike Champion and etc. Apart from other dogs he produced, which won fights for me. Art was the last world famous dog I had. Among Kingfish, Zebo and Art. Kingfish was a fighting dog, he too had a defensive style. He held the opponent's neck and head and if he needed to, he would hold it all day. He didn't bite too hard, but I considered him a good dog, and I've had many good ones. The hardest fight I've ever seen was when the champion Zebo, fought against the champion Lubrificator. The Lubricator was owned by Fowlers. They had bought the Greaser, which was considered the best in the country, in the category of its weight. They tried to score a fight against Adams and Hudson's TX. Greaser was much more famous than Zebo. And the Fowlers were not afraid of Zebo, they thought they would beat him. This fight would be between Dean Hudson and TX. Tex was the son of Bullison with Art Missy. They had a problem with TX, this during training, to fight. They had two options, one to pay the fine and the other to use Zebo in place of TX. Greaser had won four fights, three of them were about the best dogmans of that time. Zebo also won four fights. Greaser had this name, due to his ability, one to slip on the opponent, and the other to break, he was a very intelligent fighter. Adams was thinking he didn't have enough time to get Zebo in shape. He told Hudson that he would try for 30 minutes, if Zebo had not won, he would take Zebo out of combat. Adams pointed out that it was very hot, and that it was about, one of the best dog men. 
Adam said he sweated a lot in this fight, and that Zebo was trying to control Greaser, but he couldn't. The Greaser slipped and slipped, avoiding grabbing. Throughout the fight, the Zebo was severely punished, because he did not try to protect himself. He has always been a direct and very hard dog. Adam said he was sweating a lot in this match, since Zebo tried and tried to control himself and couldn't. While Greaser slipped and slid, avoiding grips. Along the way, Zebo suffered many punishments because he did not try to protect himself. He was a straight and hard dog. He had only one thought, in his mind, which was to kill his opponent as soon as possible. Zebo was a breast bite, and any other bite he could make, he would let go. Zebo's teeth were worn out, but he was brave and very determined. They exchanged bites, like great fighters, taking turns. Then Zebo began to have an advantage, due to the bite quality. Greaser's chest was finished, it looked like someone had shot him with a 12 caliber in the chest. Greaser began to weaken, and Zebo was biting his chest, and twisting. Greaser began to give in in his corner, and the Fowler suffered. They were gentlemen, they shook my hand, and congratulated me and my dog. Dave Adams